So I got HIV as an infant from a blood transfusion. And on Monday, took a, a swab and it came, the test said negative. Um, and there's more tests to be done that I have to wait a couple of weeks for. I think the doctor's just procrastinating because, yeah, so I just wanted like insights into this in this liminal time while I'm waiting. Well, we would like you to know, we'd like all of you to know that realities change. Even those realities that you are told are unchangeable. Because you are a vibrational being first and foremost. It's a lovely thing when doctors are forced to acknowledge that. What more would you like us to say? Just taking it in. Yeah. You create your own reality and nothing else does. And while it sometimes seems like things assert themselves into your experience, who you are is always dominant and what you want is always dominant. There is nothing that you cannot be or do or have. There are no exceptions to that powerful statement. So while it's kind of nice to have confirmation of the test or confirmation of someone like us, we really are encouraging you to reach the place where you're not needing the confirmation because that's a little conditional, isn't it? That confirmation is a conditional thing. And so then I feel better. And we would like to acknowledge that your emotion was in a good place before that happened. In other words, you're not feeling better as a result of the test. The test came in response to your feeling better. Yeah. Yeah. Isn't it nice to know that alignment trumps everything and that alignment is not outside your grasp. You have ready, easy access to it. You just have to practice it a little bit. Yeah. Really good. Something more. The second question was the brain bleed that gave the HIV also created a lot of pain in the body. And so what's a way of walking in the world and hold space for that pain? We are so happy to have this conversation with you. First of all, by acknowledging that you are a physical being made up of trillions of cells who each is consciousness and that your inner being source, God, whatever you want to call that non-physical beginning of who you are and resourcing of who you are is in constant communication with each of those cells, with all of those cells all of the time. So when you have an experience that causes you to ask for something, especially in a strong way, okay. there is a responding to that asking that takes place on a cellular level. And if you're not doing that thing that most people do, which is blocking that by introducing resistance into the equation, then there is clear communication between you and yourself. When you feel physical discomfort, what it always means is that the cells are asking and that source is answering, but there is a little resistance but that doesn't stop the cells from asking and it doesn't stop source from answering. So relax into that discomfort and acknowledge that what it really means is help is on the way or help is underway. That rebalancing is taking place. And as you relax into it, not resist it. Don't feel afraid of it. Don't see it as a bad sign, but see it as a good sign then the resistance will become less and less and less the communication between source who knows so intimately and so infinitely and so precisely so exactly about your cells then improvement becomes more and more and more and more so this is a really good conversation to have today isn't it because we're talking about the unconditioned well, it's not easy. And we'll say to all of you, even without physical pain, it is not easy to ignore a condition. It isn't easy to ignore a condition, but you gotta, you can't let the condition rule your emotion. And so you can have pain and be happy, or you can have pain and have fear. 
And so we're just suggesting find a way to have the uncondition of joy, even in the condition of pain. Don't let the pain dictate that it's got to be uneasiness or worry. And when you remember that, and you have so much reason to, and so much evidence now that you can even use to back up your belief, then it just gets better and better. Yeah. Yeah. We would like you, oh, all of you to feel the sweet spot between where you are and where you want to be. And this is going to feel frivolous to you, but play with us anyway. Isn't it almost delicious to have an itch on your back? <laughs> as long as there's someone there to scratch it or some way of scratching it aren't you almost glad for the itch mm -hmm. now we know that sounds weird don't you enjoy an occasional hunger because isn't it more satisfying to eat when you are hungry there is a sweet spot between not being quite where you want to be not in that perfect comfort but not afraid that you can't get there and that's the way we would like you to regard pain call it an itching that's being satisfied rather than evidence of something gone wrong and then in that extra focused allowing things can improve even more it's asking something of someone to unconditionally feel good when there is physical discomfort but you can do it and the payoff is big Tell me more. And the last question is, is so two and a half years now writing a memoir, but there's so much pain bringing up the stories that I push it away. And I don't That's know your inner to... being pushing it away. Okay. And here's why <laughs> you're really going to like this. <laughs> I'm sure I will. So <laughs> you are where you are and uh -huh. your inner being is calling you to where your inner being is. Okay. So that's where all the juice of life is moving forward when you turn and look back your inner beings not in on it and that's why it feels uncomfortable looking back not a good idea looking forward really a good idea now of course who you are is a result of all of that mm -hmm. but for just a little while ignore your need to justify where you are by where you've been because it's just not worth what you give up it's like giving up the resources of where source is because here's the quote ready sure. we'd like a drum roll <laughs> your source will never look past where you now are source your inner being attention on you and where you're going not on you and where you've been source mm. will never look back past where you are ever mm. don't you like knowing that yes. <laughs> don't you like knowing that doesn't that explain why that feels like it does doesn't that explain what homesick is that's where home makes you sick <laughs> Haven't you ever gone home and you feel like that same dumb person that they thought you were back then? You haven't felt like that for a long time and all of a sudden there it all is and the smells and the... We're exaggerating, not at all. <laughs> Source never looks back beyond the now that you are living and is always standing with you looking forward to what's becoming. Never said anything more important than that, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Enough? <laughs>